All right, here's our first chapter of the class, chapter two. Chapter two is all about what we call set theory. Set theory is probably something you're gonna like. There's very little bit of algebra, uh, very little bit of math, but what we're gonna focus on in this chapter is a lot about notation and definitions. So we're gonna talk about how things might be kind of related or overlap, and how maybe they might be part of a category but don't have very many similarities. We're gonna take those ideas and put them into pictures called Venn diagrams, and then we're gonna answer questions using those Venn diagrams. So, as you go through chapter two, and every other chapter of this class, you're going to go into Canvas, go underneath the modules, and you'll see that there is a module for each chapter. So for chapter two, on set theory, um, you're going to see that there is a blank student note packet. The first thing you need to do is print out that blank student note packet. Or, you can um, upload it to a tablet or an iPad if you'd like to and take your notes that way. But you do need to take notes on this um, note packet that I've created for each chapter, starting with chapter two. As you go through chapter two, you're going to see in um, Canvas that I have a video lesson for each section. So for example, if you click on section 2.1, you'll see that there are video lessons for each example in this section. You're going to play this video, watch the lecture, just like if we were in class together. You're going to fill out the notes, do the examples, try the problems, so make sure that you're understanding the material. Um, you're going to pause, maybe you can replay it if you need to, but you're going to make sure you understand before moving on to the next section and the next video. So you can go through each section, watching the videos and filling out the notes um, on that note packet. You can see that there are video lessons for each section in Canvas as you go through. What I've also done in certain modules or in, exam, in uh, chapter two is I've created some extra practice problems or extra worksheets to help you guys practice in addition to the stuff that you're going to do for homework in my math lab. For example, there is a chapter two Venn diagram practice worksheet. It is not for a grade, it is optional, but it's highly recommended that you do to practice before you take the test. There's the answer key that you can check when you are finished. We also have an extra chapter two review that kind of combines all the information um, to help you practice before our first exam. Again, it is optional, but it is very good practice before you take our first exam over chapter two. Now, as you're going through and you printed out the chapter notes, you've watched the videos and you've filled out the notes, um, you can also then go to my math lab and do the homework for each section. Each section in uh, my math lab should correspond with the notes that I've created and the videos that I've created for each section. So you can do it section at a time, making sure that you follow along with the due dates. When you are finished with chapter two, um, there is a assignment, a required assignment that is worth points in the class to submit your completed notes. You need to make sure that you um, take a scan or a picture of each page into one document, uh, making sure that it's clear, making sure that all of your pages are there, making sure all of your work is shown for every single example, um, and that it's in one document and you submit it here for credit. Now, as you're taking your chapter two test, for your chapter two test, you are allowed a few things. You are allowed one three by five note card. So front and back, I don't care what you write on it. So one three by five note card you can use for your chapter two exam. So what I suggest you do as you're taking your notes and doing your homework for each section is you actually take out a separate sheet of paper. And as you're taking the notes, you're writing down things that might be important to remember. As you're doing the homework, you're writing down problems that maybe you had a tough time with. And at the end, you can take this large piece of paper and consolidate it to your 3x5 card to use for your exam. You're allowed to use this and a calculator. You can use a graphing calculator or um, a scientific calculator or really even a basic calculator if you have it. But you can use any sort of calculator and a 3x5 note card for test day. So make sure you have those available on that day. Now, as you're taking your chapter two test, it is really important every single test that you're showing me all of your work. You will only get credit for problems if your work is shown. Now, there are problems that you might not have to show any work, but for any problem that I show work on, like in the notes, you should be showing work on on your test. 
So you're going to take out a piece of paper as you're taking your test and you're going to label every single question. Number one, number two, number three. You're going to show all of your work. You're going to scan and submit this within five minutes of completing your exam to get full credit for doing it and then partial credit if you miss anything. But, but I need to make sure that it's organized, that it's neat, and all of your work is shown. If you do not show your work, you do not get any credit for the problem, even if you have the right answer. And if you have the wrong answer, the more work you show, the more points I can try to give you back. I want to be able to give you points back, partial credit, as much as possible, but I need to see work in order to do that. So make sure that you clearly show all of your work for each problem so I can give you full credit and partial credit if you miss any problems. Within five minutes of completing your test, you need to make sure that you scan and submit that here under the Chapter 2 work for um, full and partial credit. So you're going to walk through that same type of thing for every chapter. Print off the notes, watch the videos, take the notes, do the homework in my math lab, and then make sure that you practice the extra stuff if you need to, that you submit your completed notes when you're finished, and that you show all of your work when taking the exams. As always, make sure you um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. I hope you enjoy our first chapter, Chapter 2.